Tuesday, second day of our holiday. Excuse the state of me, I've not long got up, but I have my coffee, I have a griffin, and we are just chilling on the veranda, deciding what plans we have for today. Now, as you'll have probably found out in a couple of vlogs, my wheelchair's broken, so we are currently unable to go too far. Luckily Blade is with me, he fitted in my suitcase um, very perfectly. If you haven't seen my pack with me, go and have a look. Um, I'll try and do the card tagging in the top corners of videos and see how that goes on. But anyway, my, my wheelchair's broken. Um, it came off the plane and just didn't work. So I'm waiting for a chap called Dan who is a local to where we're staying. Um, mobility shop owner um, he has a guy with a workshop who are going to see when they can fit me in to get it fixed so the holiday's not a wash out even if we couldn't go anywhere honestly this view it's peaceful during the day neighbors are a bit noisy when they come out but they've got kids um, but in general it's a very peaceful place to be so first on the agenda is some breakfast and coffee obviously and then i'm gonna get dressed i've got a couple two or three videos going off today um in filming so i'm filming my daily outfits and i'm filming which all will have gone up before all this um and i'm filming today because i think we're gonna have quite a chill quiet day um I'm going to film my what I eat in a day on holiday relating to the fact that I do have a dodgy pancreas and diabetes so I thought that would be quite good just to keep it on the health track as well um, so I'm going to do that one today because I've got time to cook which is pretty standard when we've been on holiday in December I did cook a lot so it'd be very similar to what we ate then um, but whilst my wheelchair is not available for us to go into town etc then I thought that would be a good day to get things going so I'm going to do that I'm going to do my outfits we're going to go to the shop we've got a few more bits to pick up that we couldn't quite manage yesterday or forgot or have already run out of like his snacks because he likes snacks in the evening to be fair, mine are gone as well, but they were very, very nice. So, um, they do good crisps. They do amazing crisps over here. But we will talk about that in the food one. Um, 
Sorry, the birds are really noisy this morning, but it's lovely. What else am I doing today? I'm doing my outfits video, of course. Um, I'm going to change location from yesterday so you can get the full outfit. I'm going to do it in the hallway instead. Um, and we're going to see if Dan can give us a day for my chair. This afternoon, the weather is not going to be as glorious as this. Um, apparently, it's going to be a bit rainy. But that's fine if we're not doing much. It, it gives me time to pre-edit. So I've got, um, for those that are interested, I've got an editing app. It allows me to edit multiple videos at the same time. I don't just have to sit and do one. So the first part of this vlog was all done yesterday afternoon, sat out here. And the second part um, of, um, sorry, my holiday outfits video was edited yesterday so I can keep adding to them and then it's not such a big task and I don't have to sit and do it in you know one whole video in one go although they don't take me that long because I do edit on my phone I'm filming on my phone at the moment I didn't bring my vlog camera um, just because it was extra things to carry so I thought I wouldn't bother uh, what else yeah so we can see if Dan can fix my wheelchair tomorrow is a bank holiday and the weather's not intending to be very good um it's raining this afternoon through the night into tomorrow and then getting very windy so i'm not sure what we're going to do tomorrow it might unfortunately be another quiet day but it could be a day i get my wheelchair fixed um there is a might have mentioned it already in a video a cultural food festival happening in Fuengarola which is uh, from a Thursday no yeah. from Wednesday sorry from shut up I was gonna say from Wednesday oh, from Wednesday sorry he keeps interfering oh, sure. so, can you please <laughs> from Wednesday there is a food festival in Fuengarola but we don't think we'll go tomorrow anyway because it is raining and again wheelchair if I can't get my wheelchair fixed I do have my walker so we know there's public transport not far away I can get to there it will take me a while but I can get there and I can sit on my walker so I'm not flat banged at all I can do things it's just going to take me a bit longer to do them which is fine um, it also saves the griffin carrying my wheelchair up and down steps on buses um, and it makes the whole experience a little bit easier if I can walk um, so yeah there's that so we may Thursday, Friday before the weekend hits, venture down into Fuengarola. There's a few bits I need to pick up anyway. Nail varnish being one, I've had to cut my nails off. The I didn't get chance to finish my nails before I came out here and they are shot. I've had to clip them right down, look at them, they're awful. Um, so I didn't bring my nail varnish because I'm an idiot. So I get some nail varnish and Probably the end of this week when the changeover happens here of a lot of people coming um, for a week or going home or blah, we might spend a couple of days by the pool just chilling out and then next week hopefully we can go on some excursions. We're looking, I'm hoping that the bus that goes into Fuengarola, it also goes to Torremolinos so we can go there and we're looking at the map this morning i thought we were halfway between um malaga and marbella we're not we're halfway between torremolinos and marbella so we could do it we could do both it's a bus trip and it's a walk around so it's not very expensive buses here are about three euros for a return it's not very expensive at all um so yeah we'll see what we can do but in the meantime I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm going to have a little bit to eat because my bloods are a little bit down today. They've been hypo most of the morning and I don't know why. So, yeah, I will catch up with you again a little bit later on. And she's back. Forgotten what I was going to say now because last time didn't plug my mic in. Um, just got dressed. I've just filmed my outfit of the day. Hopefully it's better than yesterday's. I now have a random idea and it seemed to work. So I've actually filmed from here rather than from 
in here, back here. Sorry, I'm going the wrong way. Back here. So I've managed to get a little bit more of the outfit in. You can see all of me. Not that that may be a good thing. <clears throat> and I've also worked out that lowering my tripod, I can film my boots. So now I've just got to work out a very clever way of editing it. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's better than yesterday's. So this is the outfit. Just going with a headscarf today because I want to make sure my head doesn't burn. Um, and we are about to go to the shop, to the shop and get some more provisions. Um, I've decided what I want for tea tonight. And as I'm filming a what I eat in a day, it seemed like a good idea. Plus, I still haven't heard about my wheelchair. Um, can't get hold of them at the moment. So I will ring them again later on and see what's happening. Um, what else? What else? I've just been doing filming most of the morning, actually. I've watched a couple of vlogs. Um, of other YouTubers and I've been keeping myself busy because at the moment whilst we're waiting for my chair to be fixed we can't really make a lot of solid plans um, I did think about going to and I think it was in the beginning of this one I mentioned going to a local supermarket decided against that um, just because the hassle of getting a taxi getting back here all the issues that are there with that and my lack of Spanish um, although I'm learning slowly I've been doing Duolingo for a while but I've been a bit slack because for some reason I was doing really well and then they started putting in adverts every 30 seconds and that was driving me mad and then they were trying to push me to buy a subscription which I didn't want to do and then I started learning Swedish because yeah that's a thing um, and I've been brushing up on my French as well because hopefully on uh, the Friday before we go home we are going to Malaga to meet up with somebody I work with. Um, I'm actually his boss but his girlfriend's French, he's from Serbia. Um, so he speaks um, Serbian, Hungarian and English. She speaks English and French. Um, so I thought it would be nice to greet her in French. So I've just been brushing up on that. Um, I'm not very good, but we're going to give it a go. Um, oh God, I hate my arms. I just wish this bit would shrink. It's the one bit of my body I hate right now. But it is what it is. So I'm going to change my glasses out, put my sunnies on. We're going to take Blade for a walk. Um, but yeah, so I've decided... Sorry, this conversation's going all over the place, isn't it? But what do you expect from me? It's normal. Yeah, decided not to go to the local supermarket. We're going to go to the one on the shop, on the site. And I'm going to ask them very nicely if they wouldn't mind me filming a little bit. Um, they're, they're really nice in there, so I don't think they'd have a problem. I'll probably feel like an idiot doing it, but then I'm never going to see these people again, so what the heck? Um, and the Griffin's used to me talking to myself on camera by now because it's been, uh, how long's it been? Four and a half years minus the bit I was on sick. So yeah, it's been a while. Um, hoping this, this vlog is going to be better than the last few I've attempted because I've actually, I can actually show you, show you stuff because there's less children around. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Yeah, I've hit a bit of a milestone today. Um, so I've never been bothered about subscribers although I would like a few more it would be nice never been bothered about subscriber numbers um just that people it's mainly for me you know what I mean it's my it's kind of my hobby it's it's what I enjoy to do it's a break from reality I get to do things I get to share things I found out my style a lot about my health since I've got sick so that's fun and obviously the plus size things people have always I look on YouTube and there's a lot of plus size normal but not a lot of plus size goth um there seems to be this stigma that all goths have to be tiny and look like little dolls nah we don't so anyway she's rambling um i'm gonna put the aircon on in a minute i'm getting hot we saw what we did last time to cool, to cool down the room um yeah lost my train of thought again what was my train of thought what was i talking about who are you no. where am i i don't know um yeah, milestone. So I hit a milestone today. Like I said, never been bothered with subscribers, watch time, anything of that. And I know that on YouTube to get monetized, which again, I'm not bothered about. Um, you have to hit 3,000 watch hours in 365 days. 
I've always been around the 280 to 380 mark with mine. Um, mainly because I don't, I'm not a professional YouTuber. I don't upload content all the time. However, since I've been back more prominently, let's say, on YouTube, and I have been doing two a week, I've hit 500, 100 watch hours this week. Actually, today, I was really impressed. So thank you to all of you who watch. Thank you to all of those who like, comment. And if you don't, why are you not? Just saying, if you just found this video, well, why are you not subscribed? Get on with it. Little button down below. Um, the thumbs up goes a long way too. But again, I'm not, I'm not bothered. I mean, if you do like my content and you would like to do something nice for me, you don't have to. I do this purely for entertainment. Um, and I'm sure I entertain most of you in lots of different ways, some seriously, and some by being a fat goth on YouTube. Way! Um, no, seriously, if, if you would like to do something nice to me, there is a Kofi link in the description box down below, and you can buy me a cup of coffee. Because your girl lives on coffee at the moment. She is, she's a bit of a coffee hoe, she has to say. I did have it as green tea, um, but since my health has sorted itself out a bit more i can drink coffee again so yeah if you would like to buy me a coffee then you can hit the coffee button down below you can go into my link tree um on instagram the link is there as well there's also my amazon shop i believe there's all sorts of things on on the linkedin the link tree so i might actually start popping my link tree down below as well and she's talking too much, so we're going to get off, or we're going to lose the day, and this day is going to be... This This vlog's going to end up like nine hours long at this rate. But you know what? We can do it in two parts, and that gives me another day's worth of content. Ha! Oh, God, she is on one. Right, we're going to go to the shop. I'm going to ask Nicey if I can film, because there's not a lot else to do today. I'm still waiting on my chair. The weather's going to turn in about an hour. So we'll probably sit in, read, watch vlogs. I will. He'll read listen to music, and then carry on watching Silent Witness. Where, where are we? Season 17, episode 6. Is it 6? Or did we start 6 last night? We no, we started 5. We've got to watch 6 tonight. So we've been watching Sil um, Silent Witness. I've been watching it for years, pretty much since it started, um, for those in the UK. For those not in the UK, get yourself a VPN free app on your phone, on your tablet, whatever you've got put up with the little advert at the beginning, connect to a London um, server and download BBC iPlayer and you can watch loads of stuff for free. Just tell them you've got a TV licence, they'll never know on a VPN. Anyway, I didn't tell you that, that's a hack, but off you go. Right, we are going to go to the shop and I will catch up with you a little bit later on and yeah, we'll, if I film I'll do a food haul, I'll show you what we bought yesterday. And yeah, I will carry on filming my what I eat in a day and I might catch up with you later on in this vlog. So today's just got a little bit more exciting. <laughs> I was going to edit. Um, I'm not now. I, um, I've just managed to get a hold of uh, the chap who is going to look at my... I'm just fiddling about my tripod, so if it's a bit shaky, I apologise. Yeah, I've just spoken to the chap who's going to do my wheelchair for me. Sorry, excuse the mess on the bed. That's not meant to be there. Um, just had a quick change, so I've put my belt on and my top, because I'm a bit more covered. And we are going to head to the hotel reception. We're going to get my wheelchair and take it to um, Dan and he said if he can look at it this afternoon he's going to do his best and hopefully he can bring it back to reception and they will let us know when it's here and from tomorrow I can have my wheelchair which would be amazing and hopefully it won't cost me too much either. Um, what else? While we're going to the shop earlier I will say we met a lovely couple um, of ladies, they're sisters from Glasgow. So if by any chance you see this video, hello Elaine, hello Patricia, or I've now nicknamed you Patsy and Eddie, because you know, you're absolutely fabulous, the pair of you. We had a lovely long chat and there's potential we might see them at happy hour if we decide to 
go to one of the bars. They said they're normally at one of the local bars from about 5 p.m. But they did tell us about a mark. We were talking jewellery. She spotted all my rings and I was chatting to one of them about jewellery and she told me about um, La Cala, next, which is the next town over from where we are, who apparently have a market on a Wednesday and a Sunday. So that's something we can go and do. She picked up a beautiful bracelet there. And yeah, excuse me, I'm showing my legs on camera. Um, we might be able to go to La Cala. Don't know if the market will be on tomorrow because obviously it's bank holiday. Um, but that's a little trip we could do because it's not too far away. So she's got her walking boots on. She's got her new rocks on. She has her gypsy goth outfit for today. And I'm just going to go and pick up my spray sun cream and make sure I am totally prepared for this. Pick up my blood kit, my handbag, parasol, and let's go and get my wheelchair fixed. We hope. I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how am I? There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm healing, yeah I feel higher than the ceiling All because of you You and I were so sweet, so sweet Talk until we asleep, asleep Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love, yeah But you really get me, get me Make me fall to my knees, my knees Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love Up on my reading. I should catch up on my <sighs> Please excuse my hair. I've just taken my scarf off. Um, we've just got back from Fuengarola. My chair is with the mobility people. Hopefully I will know in a about soon if he can fix it and bring it back. Um, we found a supermarket. Now I couldn't film. Um, it was not appropriate but we did buy some goodies so we will be going back there and i did manage to get some sparkling water so i'm really happy and going up because my blood sugars have dropped because i've been walking and i did it i did a lot of walking today we got the train from just down the hill to reception we got a taxi from reception to um the mobility shop the taxi driver waited for us he was ever so sweet um, he's given me his card for later in the week if we need him and we went he then dropped us into Fuengarola um, and we walked I got some essentials some goodies which I'm going to show you um, some extravagance and what else did I get we went food shopping and then we came back because I am a little bit done so went to a Drugstore. I think it's like a soup boot slash super drug. It has a lot of makeup, a lot of brands. Um, so the first things I got were nail polish because that's what I needed. So I got three from the same brand. This is Essence. I've got an anti-split base coat, which I need. I have a nude, which will go with everything. And when my nails are short, I like to keep them nude and i also got a glittery sparkle if i fancy a bit of sparkle i can switch it up i can do sorry i'm sweating different things i also managed to get some cold pencils some eyeliners so i've recently been doing a lot of under eye looks again i got into this a while ago when i had a fringe and the short hair um i started wearing under eye looks so i've picked up a really pretty it doesn't quite show but it's quite a steely blue oh sorry that's a, a darker blue i got a gray blue which is very nice i got a lilac and the griffin's choice 
a lime green. So you will see me probably sporting some makeup looks with these because I'm keeping it very simple while I'm away. I will be doing a makeup look while I'm off with a, what I do on holiday because it's pretty much the same. I don't bring a lot of makeup away with me. What else did I get? I picked up at lip products. So this is an aloe vera lip balm. I have found that even though I'm using a lot of lip balm, I'm starting to dry out and this is a moisturising one shaped like an aloe vera leaf which is quite interesting so I got that one I bought this which is a lip tattoo in like a dark browny let's have a look you should see what colour it is just to get all the cellophane off so it doesn't what brand is it it doesn't give me a brand I can't see who it's by don't know don't know the brand it's made in Spain so it's a Spanish lip brand obviously and it is oh it's by Dare there we go it's got it just written across the top of there you can barely see it it's in the same color as the I think it's clear and then the lip color comes through so it's by the brand Dare and we'll do a quick Okay, it's like a dark browny red. That's quite nice. We like that. So I will give that a go. And the last product I've been trying to get for a while. i just pop these away because I'm dropping things everywhere. Let me pop all these away. The last thing I got, I have been trying to get since it was recommended to me. Um, not personally, but it was recommended by another YouTuber I watch, Gabriella. And it is the NYX fat oil lip drip now this is a moisturizing lip gloss which i've been wanting to try and i found it finally found somewhere that actually had some in stock so can i open this probably not i'm useless when it comes to breaking into products but we'll give it a quick quick go oh there we go she's broken it she's on to a winner already and then, oh, I mean, come on, give me a break, guys. It made this. I know they have to do it, but. So, this is a lip gloss, a moisturizing lip balmy lip moisturizer. It's like a gel, apparently. Okay. Okay, so it is a clear one. Hmm, tastes a little bit of watermelon, which is bizarre. Um, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on, if that helps me hydrate my lips or not. I'll let you know. What is my hair doing? Anyway, on that note, oh, no, I bought some other bits. Let me show you. So, obviously, I did a head scarf today, and I have found yesterday I've got a product that's been very helpful, certainly with my hair and my scarring. I need to wash my hair again however I wanted to make sure I could cover my head as well so I brought the lace scarf with me but I've bought this one which is a very long kind of plain black thin one as an option and I also got this one this was the Griffin's choice so this is a very large pashmina shawl style it's got a bit of a jungly print, abstract, flowers, whatever you want to call it, on it. And again, I can use this as a headscarf, which is going to be fabulous. So however I style it, I will make it work. So I've got those and they cost me, I spent 34 euros in Junai, Juni, for my products and I bought spent 15 euros on my scarves and that was this afternoon I will take you into Frangarola with me um, I think looking at the length of this already and it's only our first day this is going to be split over two vlogs um, because there's a lot there's going to be a lot um, tomorrow we will probably have a very much down day the weather's not looking to be too great overnight and in the morning but we'll see, we'll see what happens. 
and then yeah we'll sorry I'm fiddling in the background and I shouldn't I'll see what we do I might split it over two videos and I might not do my resort tour because I think that's going to be a bit difficult if I don't have my wheelchair because it's quite a big resort but we'll see anyway I'm going to leave it there for now because I need to rest up and eat my donut and I will catch up with you in a bit so we have an update my chair is fixed and she got cold sat outside so she's put a hoodie on yes we're waiting for the porters to bring it up sorry I haven't got my microphone attached um I must remember to do that more often so sorry but yes the porters are bringing my chair back up and it's cost me a total of 50 euros so apparently the um casing that holds the circuit board for the mechanisms got crushed and dislodged and it was broken and split and they've replaced they've managed to like get it back together and for now it will do it fully works it folds it closes they've tested it several times so that's really cool and I have managed to drink my bottle of water so that's good as well I was quite dehydrated when I came back and I'm going to go and sit and drink another one because I need it um I'm probably going to end this vlog section here for today it's been a day and we will probably have a chill one tomorrow but we'll let you know you never know we'll catch up with you tomorrow <music>so long i know this is going to be a long one <clears throat> um it's a bit gray over the bay the clouds started to come in a little bit today so went out yesterday into fuengarola and i walked and my body is killing me a little bit even though i had my walker and i could i could rest i'm still quite achy today so i think i think we're gonna have a bit of a chill day again which is fine we've got two weeks there's plenty to come i've also decided i can't remember if i said this yesterday i'm gonna split this into two vlogs so week one and then week two otherwise you're gonna have four hours worth of, of stuff to watch so i will keep it as minimal as i can um try not to waffle too much and yeah we may not get much content today i am going probably going to film so in a minute i'm gonna go and have a shower I will film my outfit of the day, depending on what I decide to wear. Might have a double double change today. Um, but I'm thinking I was going to do a holiday skincare and holiday makeup look. And as today looks like it's going to be a day where I'm not going to sweat any makeup off that I put on. I've not put any on yet. I thought today would be a good day to sit and film those. So that's what I'm going to do. Um... I'll try and do it outside, I'll try and do it, take a chair and my tripod and sit out on the grass and give you a bit of a view to look at without trying to make myself look like an idiot in front of the neighbours, although I think they've gone, I've not heard a peep out of the room next door since yesterday morning and they were very briefly out for coffee and then disappeared, so they may have gone, which means the noise has reduced apart from upstairs and upstairs is still very noisy anyway she's waffling um yeah so i'm gonna think i'm gonna film let me take those off the sun's gone in a bit now um i'm gonna film today get it out of the way and then all i've got left to film for the holiday is because i did a lot of filming yesterday i had three videos on on edit yesterday four videos on edit um yeah I'm going to film today two videos get those get those done edited and up they won't take too long by the time i've done that that weather should have changed and we think now that my wheelchair's fixed we might go and explore the resort so i'll take you with me show you around a bit um and if it stays really nice I might go sit by the pool for a little bit just to get a different view so yeah i'm gonna go and have a shower 
do my skincare and film that and then I will have some breakfast which I'm probably going to cook and then I'll sit and record a makeup video for you all. Wouldn't that be fun? But yeah, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a quiet day today but I'll do what I can tomorrow. Tomorrow. As long as my wheelchair stays working, hopefully, hopefully we're going to go to Fuengarola to the food festival. So I'll be able to film some of that for you. A little bit more exciting than me sitting against a blank wall. Um, I'm very sorry about that, but that's, that's all I've got on the veranda, a blank wall. Um, and if I go that way in the morning, all you'll get is sunlight and you'll just see a big black figure, which is what you see most days because, you know, black and a goth. But, you know, um, yeah, that's, that's the aim. So I'm going to shut up because I've talked for nearly four minutes and said nothing. But good morning. I've had my coffee and let's go and get showered and set up for the day. done a lot today to be honest it's currently 20 to 5 um, I think I've had an idea the Griffins got a lot of walking to do tomorrow because our aim like I said this morning is to oh, let's tilt you up a little bit there we go that's better yeah the, we, we're probably going into Wengarola tomorrow and because I'm gonna have my wheelchair what I don't want to happen is that the Griffin does his back in again so um, where we are at least he doesn't have to take it up and down steps we can walk down to reception get a taxi people will help us that's fine um but we want to go out and do something we don't want to spend the whole time in in the apartment the sun has come out the sky is blue there's some clouds over the, over the mountains which is lovely i've just been sat here watching a bit of youtube painting my nails finally the nails look like they should again. I've even done my toenails. I never paint my toenails, but I've done them. So as I've got my walker and I've said at least I want to get my steps in every day. And I know that with my walker, yeah, I'm about halfway or just over halfway to my daily steps. But when I'm pushing my walker, it doesn't register my step count. But I want to make sure I'm doing more than my steps. So I've hit about 2,000 a day so far, if not more. Probably a lot more yesterday. Probably nearer 4,000, 5,000 steps yesterday, if I'm honest. Um, but I think to give the Griffin some time out of, out of the... He didn't sleep very well last night, so he's been napping. Um, but rather than him sitting and reading, if he grabs a book, I grab my walker, put my boots on, and just take a stroll down the hill to the pool and just sit there and have a different view some fresh air and hopefully i can video a little bit around there i won't film if there's children um i'm not not like that but it would be nice just to go and sit while the sun's not massively hot um and just sit by the pool read chill out do all those good things and yeah hopefully i'll be able to film a little bit for you story today is not, not very exciting I didn't say every day of my holiday was going to be but I'm doing what I can it's the first week and you're going to have a lot of vlog content this this one's going to be I reckon this one's going to be over an hour I'll try and keep it to about an hour and hour and five hour and ten and then I'll upload this one and then start again fresh at the weekend probably on Sunday so I'm going to do 
Monday to Saturday and then Sunday to Friday because we fly home on Saturday. So yeah, we'll see what we're up to, what we're doing, whether we go out, whether we don't. If we don't, I'll see you tomorrow. And if we do, you'll see a bit more filming. grass for a minute so apologies if you can't see much because the sun's literally here um, I was gonna go and sit over there but there's people on their balcony and I don't want to disturb them so this might be a little bit shaky as well but it's what we're used to anyway um, quick intro this morning because I'm very conscious that this vlog could get very long today <laughs> we are it's a beautiful day um, it's gonna be about 18 degrees which is awesome not too hot for me and we are going to go into Fuengarola to the International Cultural Festival um, which is full of food stores market stores all the good things that we like um, so yeah that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna take you with us so I hope you enjoy it I'll film what I can um, you would have seen yesterday when we went to the pool that I didn't get any children in. I took high-end shots, like high-level. Um, I'm not going to get children in my vlogs. Um, but I'll try and get some stall shots if there's some bits and pieces, some dancing. Because there's 33 countries apparently represented. So if we get some dancing or things like that, then I can film. And I will add that in for you. So come with us today to the Fungorola International Cultural Festival.
sky it is hot and I for some stupid reason rather than going back to sleep decided to cook a full full cooked breakfast with we had croissants to begin with which I warmed up we had sausage bacon he had bacon I didn't have bacon scrambled egg mushrooms toast Mainly because I don't want to cook later on. I can't be bothered. And we're going out for dinner tonight. We're going to go to one of the restaurants on site. Which would be nice. It means I don't have to cook. So I'm fueled for the day. I look rough as hell because I've not showered. So apologies. And I'm being an absolute heathen and drinking non-alcoholic wine. Also known as grape juice from a bottle. Because I can't be asked to get a glass either. But how are you doing? It's been a long vlog, hasn't it? I'm hoping it's been a better vlog. Please let me know your comments down below what you think. Have you enjoyed this one? I hope you have, because there's another one coming up very soon. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've tried to do a bit more cinematic things. The festival was fun yesterday. My henna has started to darken. It needs to go a little bit darker. That'll take about another... Oh, a couple of hours on me and that should be dark and then I can shower. Yeah, that's kind of where we are. We're going to go to the shop later, purely because I need full fat Coke, sugar. Um, not sugar, but sugared Coke. I need some chocolate and we need some more baked potatoes. We went to the supermarket yesterday and couldn't get any baked potato. Couldn't get any potatoes at all, actually. But they do massive baked potatoes, sweet baked potatoes, in the local shop. So we're going to get a couple more of those because half one of those at night is absolutely gorgeous. Not too heavy, low carb for me, which is what I need. So yeah, there's that. So we're going to have a quiet day. My body is not liking what I did yesterday. It's also not liking the lack of food I had yesterday. <coughs> So I had toast in the morning. I had two scotch eggs from the British um, stall, Great Britain stall. They were okay, the eggs were beautiful. The eggs were absolutely beautiful. They weren't overdone, they were kind of turned to cooked. They weren't like, you know, the ones you get in a supermarket that are rubbery and the eggs were fresh. But the sausage meat was a little bit mushy um, and it had some seasoning on there that tasted a little bit like curry. So they weren't the best, but it's what I needed. I needed protein rather than carb. There was a lot of barbecue, fried, that kind of stuff and a lot of spiced stuff and fish, which I didn't want to risk. Um, 
one of the things about being diabetic and having pancreatitis flare-ups is that I don't want to risk my health by trying something. The Griffin had something from the Spanish stall, which was like a meat sandwich in a baguette with salad, cooked meat, secreto, whatever that is. Secret meat, God knows, it might have been half an ostrich and two sides of a guinea fowl, who knows, but apparently it was very nice, so he had that. Um, yeah, but my body doesn't like me. I had literally toast, two scotch eggs, and when we got home last night, got back about half seven, wasn't hungry didn't eat till gone nine o'clock and all I had was some garlic bread so I am not surprised that I was ravenous this morning but I'm waffling again four minutes of talking and saying absolutely nothing so I'm gonna go away I'm gonna drink my grape juice have some water and sit and read on my phone or watch a bit of YouTube or something and then have a shower and then we'll take a wander down the shop before that sun gets too hot and then we're going to chill out and I'm going to do my outfit today my outfits as my evening one I'm not going to do it. it's my daytime one because I'm literally just going to put on a shirt a pair of shorts and go down the shop um yeah it'll be my evening outfit so until I catch you later on enjoy So don't shout at me. We're just off for dinner, so kind of fit check. We've 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 done a video of the outfit, keeping it earring free tonight because I've got this massive necklace on which I love. And let's go for dinner. to Zach's bar and restaurant please excuse the state of my lipstick I've tried out a new one I bought it here and then decided to have what did I have salt and pepper yeah. uh, crispy beef with cold Thai noodles it's, it's like a salad but it was really nice but it had um, <clears throat> excuse me it had chili oil and the oil has taken my lipstick off and i added a hairband headband because why not um we're back we're back almost at the end of the vlog we've almost made it um it's getting dark it's the end of friday so to make sure that this one isn't too long we will call this one quits tonight and then start again tomorrow now we have decided that saturday sunday to save a bit of money we're going to have a couple of days here again at the resort just chill doing our thing might go swimming she might get in the pool um but yeah go swimming and monday we're going to do an excursion to biopark again because we went before and we really enjoyed it 
So we're going to go back. Wednesday, we're going to do Tuesday here and let my body... Still got to recover. I can't do things back to back anymore. Wednesday, we're going to go to La Cala de Mija, um, which is a lovely little town just down the road. There's a big market on a Wednesday, so we're going to go to that. Thursday will be here. And Friday, we're going into Malaga, hopefully to meet up with somebody I work with who's coming over. So that'll be fun. We're going to take selfies on the beach and send it to work and go, ha ha, this is where we are and where you're not. Um, only so as my boss can then go, yeah, but I'm there next week and you're not. So ha, back. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to take my makeup off, put my pyjamas on, curl up on the sofa for a little bit and watch Silent Witness. But I will, I will finish this vlog with a little bit of night shots. If I can get something decent, there's not much light, but as soon as it starts to go dark, um, I'll try and get some additional footage just to finish it off. Please drop a palm tree below if you've got this far in the vlog, because it's been a long one, but I'm hoping you've enjoyed it. Let me know your comments below um, on, um, on what? It's gone out of my head. I looked out the window and something distracted me. It must have been shiny. What's your comments on? Um, yeah, whether you like my, my vlog, whether it's been, well, it's been a lot better than the others. Um, but we've not done anything too exciting this week. So I've been trying to show you around, give you a little bit of style to the vlog. Because other than obviously my, myself and the Griffin. But yeah, I try and do a bit of styling, a um, little bit cinematic. I really should put my tripod down and then I'd stop holding it. And then it wouldn't shake so much, would it? No, there we go. Yeah, let me know if you've, in, you've enjoyed this style of vlog. Hopefully next week's will be up very soon. I'm going to have a look at my planner and see if I want to do them both one after the other or whether I want to do one, one week and one next week. I haven't decided. But yeah, they will go up. And yeah, the, the next one will be the last of the holiday content so yeah drop me a like drop me a follow if you've enjoyed this please subscribe if you haven't already and you found my my new style of vlogs interesting because i'm going to try and do these more often um when i am vlogging but until then as always you've been a wonderful audience well of course you have because you i can't see you and i know you're there i know you're watching but you know you can't heckle me not, not that I know about anyway. But anyway, until then, as always, I love you lots. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one.